What's going on YouTube? So today I'm going to be opening up a box of Pendulum Evolution. Uh, honestly, didn't really want to buy this set, but it's all foil and it's got some really cool cards in it, so I, I couldn't really help myself. But I almost ordered three boxes of it and then I realized that you can get pretty much everything you need off of one box, so I'm really glad I didn't. It would have been a waste of money, I think, because from what I've seen, you pull like way more than a place out of everything. So yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. I love opening all foil sets, so I think this will be a really cool opening. So. Let's just dig right in and pull out half of it here. Yeah, I want to try to play the uh, Pendulum uh, Magician deck before, you know, they're nerfed into the ground, so. Alright, so first pack we have an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Bare Metal Foes Bisma Gear, Dragon's Mirror, uh, Time Pendulum Graph, and a White uh, Wing Magician. So I'll do a recap at the end of the video so you guys can see all the, uh, or how, how much of each we got, so. There's also some, some really cool reprints in this set as well. Um, my One of my favorite sets I was actually wanting was the uh, Summoner's Art or whatever, which is pretty cool. All right, so we have Satellar Knight, Zavrax, uh, whatever, Metal Flows Ori Calc, Clee Fort Monolith. That's a really cool reprint because the the old one, the Secret Rare, was actually kind of hard to get. Double Iris Magician and a Time Star Magician. Really cool stuff. So yeah, there's actually a surprisingly uh, decent reprints in this set um some of them are downgraded some of them are upgraded i think this was an upgrade i, I might be wrong we have a zephraxi performer pal skull crowbat Co joker that's a really cool one to get because uh if not mistaken the old, old super rare was actually a bit pricey we have a dharma eye magician double iris magician and astrograph sorcerer this is if i'm not mistaken one of the most important cards in the new uh magician deck set or yeah magician deck rather I really do like the way these uh, magicians look too. They look really bad badass. Uh, Alright, we have a Guiding Oriad uh, Ariadne. That's a really cool reprint. Another Clee Forth Monolith. Uh, Stellar Knight, Zephrathubin, uh, Purple Poison Magician, and a Chronograph Sorcerer. Really cool. Another reason I was reluctant to get this set was because in the past um, recent sets, especially the all foil sets, if you get a, the European print ones, you know, they have like ridiculous bend, like unplayable bend, and then it's pretty ridiculous. So I was a bit skeptical about getting this set, but from what I've seen, it's fixed still. So we have an Unwavering Bond, a Dharma Eye Magician, a Falcult's Cannon, Double Iris Magician, and a Star Pendulum Graph. We're getting a decent amount of the uh, Double Iris, it seems. Yeah, I haven't actually play tested this deck yet, so I don't even know how good it is or how fun it is but uh, I'm a sucker for art on a lot of cards so that's pretty much what's getting me for this set this dangly thing. We have rescue hamster I got Oracle of Zephyr was another really good reprint uh, the the last print of it if I'm not mistaken is a, a secret rare so we have a tuning magician a, har a harmonizing magician so we got like little twins here which is pretty neat and another astrograph sorcerer so that's cool we got two of the astrograph we need one more for a play set and i'm sure we'll have no problem pulling it when we have still three quarters of the box odd eyes meteor burst dragon that's another really cool reprint uh dragon's mirror zephraxi white wing magician and a time pendulum graph uh hopefully the summoner's art isn't like super short print or anything because i really want to get a play set of that for my uh dank magician deck that I've got because it's almost all foiled out. We have a Hypno, Hypno Sister, Metal Foes Adamante, Dragon Pit Magician. That's a cool uh, reprint um, to get. If I'm not mistaken, I think mm, it might have been super, but I think it, it's uh, common. We have Purple Poison Magician and a White Wing Magician. We have three more packs for this right side and we'll be halfway done. All right, we have a Master Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Uh, Zephron Nui, Secret of the Ying Zing, Pendulum Storm, Time Star Magician, Pendulum Graph, or Time Pendulum Graph. All right, this and two more for this right side. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Pendulum Call, Ritual Beast Tamer, Astrograph Sorcerer, and a Black Fang Magician. This looks like the the wizard from. Uh, what is it? Uh, Final Fantasy fucked like a warrior and made a little warrior wizard baby or something. Dude fucking lifts. He's huge. Alright, and we got our first summoner art. Metal Foes Counter. 
guiding Ariane, that's our second one, and, uh, another star pendulum graph and a time pendulum graph. So the time pendulum graphs seem to be super common. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, it seems like the super rares are actually the harder ones to get multiples of, so. We have a Doomstar Magician, Enlightenment Paladin, that's our first of that. Pendulum Reborn, our first of that. Uh, t uh, purple Poison Magician and Black Fang Magician, so. That's it for the first side. We're getting into the left side now. Just stack all these up, get them out of the way. And I'll, like I said, I'll do a recap so you guys can see the ratios that you get in here. To see if you know if it's worth you guys buying it or not. All right, Dharma Eye Magician, Stargazer Magician, Z uh, Zetellar Knight, Zephra Thuban, Time Star Magician, and a Time Pendulum Graph. Yeah, we're definitely getting a ton of those Time Pendulum Graphs. All right, hopefully we can ease back on pulling those and uh, pull the rest of what we need. So. Oak Dragon Magician, Time Breaker Magician, Magical Abductor. That's our first of that. Double Iris Magician and White Wing Magician. So I want to pull two more Summoner's Art. Hopefully we can uh, do that. We have Arcfina Centric, another Oracle of Zephra, Lector Pendulum, the Draco Dude Man, Time Star Magician, and Chronograph Sorcerer. I really like opening the uh, all foil sets, especially because like I do like to collect the cards as well. So yeah, I'm always a sucker for getting them. We got a little debris out there. So we have a Pendulum Shift, Zephyr Defined Strike, Metal Foes Crimson Knight, Time Star Magician. We're getting a lot of that dude and a Black Fang Magician. Yeah, I didn't realize how uh, I guess how hard it is hard to pull the uh, super rares. I thought they would you definitely get like an abundant of them but it doesn't seem so. Star Pendulum Graph. Alright, we're, we're about halfway done with this left side. Pendulum Reborn, Rare Metal Flow Bismagear, Cleefort Scout, so we have uh, two of the Monolith and one of the Scout now. Uh, Harmonizing Magician and Astrograph Sorcerer. I think we need one more Harmonizing if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. It Wisdom Eye Magician, Time Gazer Magician, Time Break Magician, Harmonizing. Okay, so there's a third if we don't have it already in the Double Iris. Yeah, I really want to get three of the Skull Corvette Joker, but I mean, we have four packs after this, so I really doubt I'll get it. Wisdom Eye, Adamante, Arc Venus Centrix, so that's two, Time Pendulum Graph, and a White Wing Magician. Alright, so this and three more. My dude. Let's see. Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, that's our first of that. Zephyr the Defined Strike. Metal Foes Crimson Knight. Chronograph uh, Sorcerer and a Double Iris. Three more. It is pretty neat though that they, oh, here's another Summoner's Art, that's cool. <coughs> Excuse me, it's pretty neat that they put uh, two Ultra Rares per pack. But, I mean, it's also bogus though that they made this a, uh, a booster set instead of an actual structure deck. So, Chronograph Sorcerer, Time Pendulum Graph. I think we have like 55 of those things now. Second to last pack, we have an Echo Oscillation, first of that, I believe. Uh, Bisma Gear, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, first of that. Purple Poison Magician, Black Fang Magician. Last pack, Time Gazer, Odd Eyes Meteor Burst. So we didn't get our third Summoner's Art, so that's unfortunate. Uh, time Pendulum Graph, of course, why not? And a Chronograph Sorcerer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sort all these out and uh, show you guys the ratios that we pulled. So I'll be right back. All right, so just to recap, um, I'll go through all of it or whatever, just so you can see, like I said, what uh, ratios of everything we got. Sorry, I just made a huge mess of all the cards. Yeah, it's a little disappointing because, like, I don't know, I guess it was silly of me to expect to get, like, a playset of everything, but, like, the super rares, you hardly get, uh, like, doubles of them. So, we have one Dragon Pit, one Master Pendulum, two of these Cannon Dudes, um, two Monoliths, I got one Scout, 
Uh, these are one of the few super rares I did get a play set of was the Bismuth Gear. Um, one Ritual Beast Tamer. One Ritual, or yeah, the Tamer, uh, I don't know, they have different names, but there's two different ones here. Um, one of the Zephyron Nui. One of the Zephraxi, or two of the Zephraxis. Two Rescue Hamsters. Two Arc Penis Sector. Two Guiding Ariadne. I thought I had that pull three, but apparently not. Well, one of the Zephrax, uh, Refrax Zictum, or whatever. Two of that one. Oh, man. Put those up. One Stargazer Magician. Uh, one Lecter Pendulum, one Oak Dragon, one Abductor, one Skull Cravat Joker, two Wisdom Eye Magician. I already had a playset of uh, foils of that, so that didn't really matter. Uh, two Time Breaker Magician. This is the, another one we got a playset of was the Dharma Eye, two Time Gazer, two Odd Eyes. Oh no, I'm starting over there. Uh, one Hypno Sister. Two tuning magician, two doom star magician. So that's it for all the um, normal monsters, the non extra deck monsters. For the extra deck monsters, we got one odd eyes vortex, one ori calc, uh, two crimson knight, two adamante, one odd eyes uh, absolute dragon, one enlightenment paladin, two odd eyes uh, media burst dragon. Um, and then for spells and traps. Two Oracle of Zephra, two Summoner's Art, I really wanted three. Uh, I think I ordered uh, some singles anyways before I decided to buy the set anyway. Uh, Dragon's Mirror, one Pendulum, uh, two Dragon's Pendulum, uh, Mirror, one Pendulum Call, I was really hoping to get a place out of that, but I didn't obviously. One Pendulum Storm and one Pendulum Shift, so yeah, the the Super Rares are a little bit disappointing getting in here, honestly. Uh, one Pendulum Reborn, one Metal Post Counter, two Unwavering Bond. Uh, one Zephyr Divine Strike, or two Zephyr Divine Strike, uh, Pendulum Reborn, and uh, Echo Oscillation. Oops. So that's it for the Super Rares, and then for our Ultras. I was worried because I thought I only got two of the Harmonizing Magician, and then I, when I was going through it, I, I left one into the Super, so barely got a play set of that one. Uh, we got four of the, uh, the Wizard warrior baby from final fantasy a lot of these honestly look like final fantasy uh, uh the online the mmo uh, armor and stuff so for that one we got five of the chronograph sorcerer we got four of the astrograph sorcerer um four of the Vi uh, the purple poison magician i think it's like violet in the ocg or something like that um we got a ton of the double iris. We got six of that one. The let's see, white wing magician. We got five of. So that's it for the ultra rare uh, non extra deck monsters. For the extra deck, we got six time star magicians. So that was no shortage there. A ridiculous amount of the time pendulum uh, graph. Three, six, eight. And then uh, barely a playset of Star Pendulum Graph. I would have been really upset if I didn't get at least a playset of each one of them. Because I, especially once you're getting like 8 of 1, it's pretty ridiculous. So anyways, uh, there's what I got. Do I think it's worth it? Mm, probably not. Especially if you're just trying to complete like the uh, Magician deck or whatever. Um, I think it's a lot more cost effective to just buy the individual cards. Uh, but it is always fun to open up booster boxes. Especially when they're all foil. Uh, that's why I bought it because I really do like them and I was hoping to get a lot more for my collection But like, you know, I don't know. I was expecting the super rares to be a lot more abundant than they were um, So yeah, uh, I guess I'll leave it up to you to see if it's worth uh, Buying the box yourself Anyways, uh, that was my opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if uh, you want to see more content from me uh, I do try to do as many openings as possible, and there's a new set coming at the beginning of July, if I'm not mistaken, so I'll probably be ordering a couple boxes of that at least, because uh, it's got some really sweet reprints in there, is what I've seen. So thanks a lot for joining me, guys and girls. Uh, yep, and I'll see you guys in the future. Peace.